Hi, I'm Alexandre. I'm working on this project uh, since three years. And uh, we wanted to show you another approach uh, of NoSQL. And uh, it's not very scalability about, but more business-oriented applications. So uh, you, maybe some of you uh, have been to uh, some of the NoSQL talks. Um, do you? Don't know? <laughs> So, one said uh, SQL, Swift, Ergo APIs, they suck. It's too, too far from uh, what you need for your, just your business. You, know? you, you have to, to figure out about technical problems and how you make your joints and things like that. So, API should be yeah, more user oriented. You, know? you, you will have less problems uh, when you try to, to debug. You, you will only debug what you write for your business. So yes, <laughs> I like this slide. Um, OK, so Wakanda is a, it's a full platform. There is a server, there is an AJAX framework, and uh, there is a studio to, to help you to create your application. So on the server, you will have server-side JavaScript from JavaScript core, from WebKit, and a business-oriented data store, more object-like. So. User from the API, yeah. We have an HTTP API, so we can just request the database directly from HTTP, which is best for the AJAX framework, it's what it's doing. And uh, an SSGS native API, so when you are on the server, you directly access your data in JavaScript. So it's not an ORM, there is no SQL generation, it's native. You manipulate data classes, and you can extend these classes and there is references between these objects. So when you save these objects, the references are also saved. It's indexed. So, like I said, so you, you create your classes. You can say that this employee has an attribute which is a company, so its type is the company I just defined, and it's how it's going. Just a little example of how you could access your data from server-side JavaScript. So we try to make it as easy as possible. This is just a short view of the data, the model designer, you know. Oh, I will try to show you a little video if you don't care. <laughs> because we launched the public version um, just tomorrow, so we made some videos. In a typical data oh. <laughs> okay, it's not. Yeah, it will be better like that. <laughs> you have tons of relation. Let's say you want to determine the relation between person A and person B among hundreds of thousands of people. To navigate this recursive relation in traditional SQL, you'd write enough line of code to shock the server. But with the power of Wakanda, you can navigate from person to person, father to father to father to father, and so on, in neither more than one line of JavaScript. And you get the result that much more quickly. So in just a split second, we can find out who the father is. <laughs> Okay, we, we just try to, to don't be too serious, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, and this is a, a short preview of what you have when you want to create your interfaces. So uh, either the model designer and the interface designer are just web apps running in a desktop studio. Okay. Another one, I like this other one too. To be successful in business, you not only want to be presentable, but look your best, and having the right tools makes it easy to look good. First, you create your HTML page. Then, you drag and drop, widget, drag, and drop the data source on the widget so they are bound. And then you continue to drag and drop widget 
and data sources. Then you take a second to align the object. And if needed, you write some JavaScript code. And so, in a very little time, we look great. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as you just, you may have seen, when you defined your model, your, your data classes are directly accessible from the interface designer. So you, you just can tell, OK, I want this to feed these widgets. Uh, and that's it. By, by default, you will have all the data matching to this class. But you can create extended class with restricting queries or do your restricting queries in, from the client. So if you take, for example, uh, here it's not the best example, but if you want to have uh, the list of the talks of a speaker, you just take in the speaker class the talks property, and you just drag it here. So when you choose another speaker here, it is automatically changed in this list. So for that, you don't have to write code. You will only write code when there is more business value. So what is the Wakanda data store? There is entity set caching, there is lazy loading and optimistic clock for better performance on the web. There is image data indexing. There is full text search and custom types. Just a few things. So, oh, <laughs> I didn't want these animations, but okay. So the choice of JavaScript, yeah. It's standard base, no strongly typed, easy to learn, object-oriented, ubiquitous, fast-growing, okay. And why we choose uh, Squirrel Fish Extreme, uh, which is WebKit, for all these problems, yeah, for all these features. Yeah. We, we wanted to have code which is well modularized, you know, and well understandable and uh, easier to, to work with, because we work with that often. <laughs> A lot. And yeah, we like the logo, yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, about the APIs. Uh, I think most of you, when they heard about server-side JavaScript, it was more about Node.js and things like that. Um, what we wanted is to, to help JavaScript developers to, to work with what they already know. So we implemented client-side uh, APIs on the server, and we added some things on the server, also interesting, to create command lines, command lines uh, things. And uh, we supported CommonJS modules. I don't know if someone in the in there know about CommonJS? Maybe one, two? Yep. So uh, most of, um, of the um, libraries available for Node.js are CommonJS modules. So what we would like is to support most of them, if not all, most of them. So the server is running on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Studio only on Windows and Mac OS for the moment. We may have a web solution in the future, you know, which could work either on Chrome OS, you know. <laughs> and uh, in the browser, we just targeted uh, modern browsers to work with HTML5 and CSS3 because we, we don't focus uh, creation of um, web pages, you know, it's more for just business application on which you can say you need this browser, or if you can't have i9, take another one. But, well, because the Ajax framework is only a part of the, pro of the product, you can also uh, create your, your front-end interface with Dojo, YUI, or things like that. 
is just an HTTP API. So you can do it. For the future, uh, we still have to, to work on replication, synchronization, to, scale, uh, to have scalability on multiple servers. We, uh, we just made some few widgets, like proof of concept, but they kind of really works well. We have, for example, um, a data grid with uh, live scrolling. We scroll on millions of employees if you want. It's called well. There is no latency, or oh, not much. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we, we have a debugger, but we want to be able to make remote debugging for a distance server. Actually, we can debug the, the local server, but we are already using uh, some remote debugging protocol. It's uh, Crossfire, and uh, we intend to support also the V8 protocol. Uh, we will add tools like data browser, data admin, server admin. So yes, public access tomorrow. So if you want to play with that, you just have to, to go on the website, and download, and play with that. Um, I was product manager uh, with uh, some others on the project. Oh, it's still a project, so it's not uh, yet a product. And uh, I will be a community manager. So uh, if you have some questions, uh, I will be able to, to answer from the forum or directly by mail, so as you want. Thank you, Alexander. Are there any Wakanda-related questions? No questions? Here. OK. What is the licensing of the project? Good, good question. Um, actually, um, Ford is living on uh, its own product, uh, uh, which is uh, 25 years old or a little more. So there, there is uh, no direct need uh, of money, so we're just taking time to, to make it more stable. So we're currently uh, thinking about a dual license with AGPL and commercial license, at least in first place. And after we will see is, uh, if there is a lot of people interested in this product, if we can have a more open solution, we'll see. If we could live uh, only with support and things like that. I think we'll do it. But for the moment, it's more secure for us. <laughs> OK, thanks again, Alexander. And okay.